Hello everyone, welcome to my video. I'm Mike and today we're gonna learn how to send message through WhatsApp in Node.js. So before we start the video, make sure to click the like button, it helps your YouTube algorithm a ton, and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. In this video we're gonna use a module called WBM. You can download it through NPM. So if we go in here you'll see the documentation it's pretty simple actually so let's start off by creating a node.js app so I have a folder called watch app I'm gonna open the command line as you see and I'm gonna do npm init to start to build actually a node.js app so if we click enter I don't want to change any of that great so in my editor I already have it open I'll create um, index.js app and first of all we're gonna download some modules so we will download a module the module we're gonna use to send the messages so npm install wbm We downloaded the module successfully. Now, if we go back to the documentation, I'll just copy paste the code to my app. And for now, let's just try it out. I'll, I'll use my friend's phone for now. So remember, use the country code first. Don't forget to use the country code and then the number of the phone. Otherwise, it might not send the message and it will show you a failed message so first of all we will try to send a message successfully in the right phone number so if I type it out I'm gonna send a message hello there it's that simple you can uh, it's an array so you can use multiple numbers and send the same message so if we run the app right now let, let me open another command line so if I do node index.js first of all uh, it needs to log in with your computer so I I'll just delete this Google uh, because if you have any Google pages it will not work because it, it needs to use your Google page to sign in so if we scan the code with our app real quick yeah I actually forgot I actually wrote the wrong number so as you see if you wrote the wrong number uh, it will show you a failed message like one phone failed one equals the one phone number so one failed zero cents so now that I wrote the correct number if we rerun the code and now I don't think it will need us to scan the code again because it saved the session ID the session key uh, call it whatever you want uh, it saves it locally and we reuse the same session unless you log out from the web uh, no need to log in again so as you see we actually send the message successfully now so if I visit the web browser go to web.whatsapp.com I might need to log in yeah I need to log in So if I scan the code real quick, just don't forget when you use the app, uh, don't be logged in on the Google because it will show errors and yeah, it, it will not work. It might not work the most times. So if we go here, you'll see. We successfully sent the hello there message. 